The number of companies importing into the UK may be seen as something of a negative for firms at home by some, but according to one expert, it's actually a positive that can help promote growth in exports in particular. As part of a report from a leading financial institution, it was discovered that the UK's trade deficit remained stubbornly high at the end of 2013. However, with rising business sentiment and an improving economy, this should come to an end in 2014, the experts said. He believes that a strong level of imports into the UK market does not damage British firms, but instead promotes productivity and boosts the use of exports to foreign markets, which is one of the biggest drivers of positivity in this country. The expert added that imports of different components and tools can even prove to be an important ally to the growth of UK companies, with cheaper prices for the materials they need for production, allowing them to cut costs and take more risks when it comes to exporting their products overseas. A rise in the number of exports is often seen as one of the key indicators that growth is becoming a factor in the UK business sector. And this is set to be one of the biggest trends in 2014, with a rise in firms capitalising on economic expansion expected to reach 2.5%. It should mean more funding is available, consequently allowing more firms to remove the risk-adverse policies they have had in place for the past few years, replacing this with an appetite for growth. And this was a trend that was already starting to be seen towards the end of last year, the report showed. It said that in November last year, the level of imports to the UK had grown by some 0.8%. However, this was outpaced by the volume of British firms exporting their product, with these increasing by 2% in the same timescale. This story was brought to you by QBE, the business insurance specialist.